So today I've come with my family again to the Palm Beach County Zoo and Science Center. It's actually called the Cox Center um, Science Center and Aquarium. So the tickets that we have um, allow us into both the zoo and the Science Center and Aquarium. So um, yeah, so we just headed in here and we're gonna go check it out. My family and I started our day becoming dinosaur explorers. The display started September 15th, 2022, and it goes through April 30th, 2023. This display was far more impressive than I expected it to be. It featured animatronic dinosaurs that took us back through time to discover what modern paleontology can now tell us about these incredible creatures. Some of these dinosaurs are super colorful. What's really cool is that most of these exhibits are interactive, so the dinosaurs are actually moving, which is really neat for the kids and adults. to hold the camera and be a dinosaur at the same time. Red look! Red look! So that was actually 
back there, the bones that I just showed you, those were actually real dinosaur bones. Pretty amazing. So these are so cool. They're totally interactive where the dinosaur, you either end up the dinosaur or the dinosaur ends up in the photo and in the video with you. is a fun place for adults and for kids. Everything is interactive where you get to touch or be in a video and a dinosaur shows up in the video with you or a picture, but it really makes it fun for not only the kids, but for us adults as well. out. <laughs> I've never seen a winter dinosaur before. <laughs> Who knew dinosaurs had fur and feathers? So amazing. These are real dinosaur bones here. Absolutely incredible. And what's really interesting is that Yes, they're noisy. <laughs> but what's really interesting is the dinosaurs are so many different colors. I've never seen winter dinosaurs or all these dinosaurs with so many colors to them. Who knew the dinosaurs were so colorful? Next, we headed into the Hall of Discovery. Inside, we found fun brain teasers that put all ages to the test. States of Matter, which explore the basic principles of science with hands-on displays, including solid, liquid, gas, and plasma displays. And we passed the planetarium, which was an additional price, and we decided to save for another visit because just so much to see. You gotta touch it. You see? So it's Andy's hand? No?
to cheat a little bit and use the picture for some help.
My nephew Lorenzo found the Discovery Center an early childhood playground powered by PNC Grow Up Great. A space for kids up to six years of age, and I think his favorites were the giant 16 by five foot water table and the wall-sized light bright area. There was also meteorology exhibits as well as a collection of rare space artifacts and real rocks from space. Oh yeah, where's my... Mm -hmm. Feels good on a hot day. I didn't know if there was like a Is that Mars rock.
journey through the human brain. The Cox Science Center, in collaboration with the FAU Styles Nicholson Brain Institute, recently opened the world's most advanced neuroscience exhibit to inspire a new generation of scientists, technologists, and medical professionals. Journey Through the Human Brain features the latest research and innovations with high-tech displays, immersive experiences, and state-of-the-art equipment. It tells the story of the human brain from the molecular level to the integrated circuitry that reveals how the brain informs our senses, creates our thoughts and emotions, and how it was evolved into the most complex structure in the universe. There is something for all ages, and this is a permanent exhibit. we headed to the other side of the Science Center for the aquariums of the Atlantic. There we found 10,000 gallon aquariums of the Atlantic that housed some of Florida's most beautiful native fish. The different habitats interpret Florida's diverse ecosystems of the Everglades, coral reefs, Gulf Stream, and the open ocean. We also learned when we purchased our tickets that the Science Center is expanding the aquarium this year to be four times the size and should be finished by 2026. So if the Cox Science Center and aquarium wasn't already on your list, you'll want to make sure that it is. That's a bear. Yeah. Um, what is that? Those are the ones that. Those are the ones that. Oh, yes. Yes. Where are they? I don't see them. Let's see. Hold on. I don't know where he is. Yeah. Since originally opening its doors, they have hosted over 10 million visitors and are on track to serve 325,000 this year with 130,000 public and private school children from Palm Beach, Martin, Broward, and Miami-Dade counties in Florida. For more information, I've left their website in the description. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Look at them. See? Oh, there's a camera. Yes, I know. But he already tried to push all the Angie's buttons. Wow. 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 Huh? You can't kick the fish in. Angie doesn't see any of I see a lionfish. Look at that. Look at the lionfish. Look at the lionfish. Yeah, we didn't have people. I think we caught a lionfish. They break our poisonous fish. Yeah. They're competing native species for food and aggressively feeding on native population. Oh, the balloon fish. That's another one that they blow up. This looks like porcupine. Agua, yes. find the Florida Conservation Station. This learning laboratory includes hands-on experiments and research activities that transform visitors into real-world biologists. The station gives visitors an idea of the immense variety of life in Florida and complex relationships among living things. we passed the snack station and then headed outside towards the picnic area and the quarter mile long Fisher Family Science Trail which connects 15 new exhibits including a physics forest, FPL solar scape, interactive splash pad, a gem panning station, a dinosaur walk, a shark tooth dig pit and so much more. But my first stop was to check out the Conservation Course, which is an 18-hole miniature golf course that is surrounded by butterflies and babbling brooks.
I give up his chip. That's what it is. And there's the other one over there. Pretty cool. <laughs> shark teeth. There's a big rock. There's a big undisturbed mound right here. Yeah, that's a sandbox. That's no. Oh, the hot scotch. Oh, yeah. Human sundial.
can see so much to see and do at the Cox Science Center and Aquarium. Make sure to check out my other vlog on the Palm Beach Zoo, because as I mentioned in that video, we did have a combined ticket for both the zoo and the Science Center Aquarium, and the price was a much smarter decision. I'll also leave the link in the description, but you will definitely want to add these two places to your list to visit. See you next time.